the game plan. Hello, boils and ghouls, children of all ages. My name is Samuel, and welcome back to the Knights of War. Today is day four of our Horror Nights week. Happy Thursday. We hope you are all having a terrific Thursday. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and check out the previous three videos we did this week uh, on our journey to discover uh, Horror Nights all week long. Today, as mentioned in the beginning, is we'll be discussing a game plan. Um, to help you try to get through as much of the event as possible. Um, this is geared towards someone going on a general admission ticket to Horror Nights. As we mentioned earlier this week in our tickets video, uh, we recommend that you do get that early entry. Uh, because this year, for the first time, uh, early entry is not part of your standard admission to the park. Um, so that early entry begins at $10 and increases in price uh, depending on how busy of a day uh, they're anticipating that day to be. Um, so if you can and you can uh, financially afford it, go ahead and get that early entry. Um, with that early entry, you will get into the event 90 minutes early uh, or about there, they're saying. Um, and so... What we would recommend doing is if you're getting that early entry, go ahead and also show up a little early to um, there. That way you can get parked, walk through City Walk, um, and, and be one of the first people there. Um, because we want to make sure with a general admission ticket that you're trying to get to things as early and as quickly and efficiently as possible. Um, because we are anticipating very large crowds, um, especially as you get closer to the event, um, or if you're going during the opening weekend. Um, or if you're going on a Friday night or, or, or Saturday night. Um, so if you can, get that early entry, get there early, go on a day that maybe um, would be historically lower, like a, a Thursday or a Sunday night, um, if you can. Um, but once you get there, this is a game plan we have for you all. Um, first and foremost, we're going to recommend that you go to Stranger Things as quickly as possible. Um, we know that historically... The mazes that have been in sound stages that are linked to an IP have had very long wait times. Um, things like the weekend la um, last year or even Stranger Things, um, the previous times it's come to the event have had very long wait times. Um, so our recommendation is to get there first um, so that we can get it knocked out of the way. And the beauty of this uh, house is since it is in a sound stage, um, it's a controlled environment. Um, so if it is earlier in the season and that sun has not quite set, um, when you're going into the sound stage mages, you can't even tell the difference um, just because they're controlling the lighting um, and there's no interference from the sun. Um, so if you can get to that maze first, that's a recommendation. And once you get out of Stranger Things, then probably you're going to want to head over um, to The Last of Us, which is in the mummy queue. Um, this is another maze that a lot of people are quite excited to be coming to the event. I know that Tony is probably going to have this high on his anticipation list. Um, and so if you want to see where, what mazes we're most um, excited for this coming season, come on and stay tuned because um, we will have that coming out sometime later this week. Um, and so go ahead and hit The Last of Us. Um, and once you get done with The Last of Us, um, it should be dark by then. Um, regardless if you're going in September or if you're going um, closer to Halloween. Um, so then we would recommend going on over into the tear tram um, because the tear tram does close early. Um, depending on the night will dictate when that last tram leaves. Um, and this is not this is something you don't want to miss. Um, you get to walk through some really cool sets, um, things like the Nope set. Um, War of the Worlds, um, and it always has a great, it's always a great time as you go through, uh, you know, walking past the Bates Motel, the Bates uh, House. Um, so go ahead and check out Exterminators on the Terra Tram. Um, last year when we went to the event, uh, one of the great things about the Terra Tram is they were very quick and efficient. Um, when we had went, uh, we were told that the wait was going to be about an hour, but I think we were on a tram within about 30 minutes. You just had to go up and down the turnstiles. Um, they were really quick and efficient, having trams coming 
left and right. Boom, loading, loading, gone. Um, so go ahead and check out the tear trim. Um, and once you're done with the tear trim, um, you can go one of two ways. Our recommendation is to go back down into the lower lot um, and go and hit the Exorcist Believer. Um, this is a house that's going to be based upon the upcoming film that's coming out Friday, October 13th. Um, so you'll get a sneak preview into this um, with a great IP name like The Exorcist. Obviously, Exorcist has been at the event um, as recently as last year, but has been there multiple times. Um, and we definitely think that a lot of people are going to want to, you know, get a little nervous and get scared and walking over to The Exorcist. Um, so go on and check out Exorcist Believer. Uh, and when, since you're right there um, as well, we'll recommend once you're done Exorcist Believer, go ahead and hit Holidays in Hell. Holidays in Hell is a, a repeat original maze. Um, came for the first year in 2019, was over in the courtyard. Um, and so we recommend going and hitting that. Go in and having a great time as you listen to the great music provided by Figure. Uh, and you really get to go through a calendar year of all kinds of major holidays uh, with a fun horror twist. Um, once you're done with Holidays in Hell, then we would say go on um, and hit the Curious George uh, parking lot area. Um, and there you're going to want to go and see Chucky. Um, this is another house that's anticipated to have a very long wait time, like the other IPs at this event, The Last of Us, Stranger Things, um, and Exorcist Believer. You're probably going to end up having to wait about an hour for this, or if not more, on, on a, a more busy night. Um, so just anticipate that. Um, and, and all of these that we've already mentioned, but those wait times are going to be a little bit longer. Holidays in Hell might be a little bit smaller than other ones, um, but Stranger Things, The Last of Us, Chucky, Exorcist, all going to have really long wait times. Um, so go and hit Chucky. And once you're done with Chucky, uh, you're going to want to go and check out Universal Monsters Unmasked. This is a maze that I'm very excited for. Um, and as I already shamelessly plugged earlier, go ahead and check out sometime later this week when we go over our most anticipated list, because uh, this is probably going to be rather high on my list. Uh, but go in and have a great time with there. Um, go and visit with some of these uh, iconic Universal monsters, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Phantom of the Opera, Invisible Man, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. So many great characters with an original twist and that and another shameless plug if you haven't done so already go ahead and check out our midsummer screen panel where john murdy discussed this maze uh universal monsters unmasked as well as a maze we'll cover in just a few moments uh, uh monstros the monsters of latin america um once you're done with down that curious george lot come back up go on through harry potter maybe go see some death eaters you're also going to now probably go to walk through some scare zones um, as you make your way on over to Evil Dead Rise. Um, this is going to be where The Walking Dead was previously um, when it was a full-time attraction there. Uh, last year, Universal Horror Hotel was there. Um, but go ahead and check Evil Dead Rise. And go ahead and be scared because uh, from what people are saying, um, I believe this is going to be one of the more gory houses, uh, one of the more intense houses. Um, so anticipate a very scary but good time um, as you venture into Evil Dead Rise uh, based upon a film that came out just a little bit earlier this year. And last but certainly not least, as mentioned, you're going to want to go check out Monstros, the Monsters of Latin America, which is going to be in the courtyard with a scare zone attached to it. Um, this is going to be another high quality maze. I've yet to be disappointed in the few years I have gone to Horror Nights with mazes that have been in this courtyard, um, and I don't anticipate dis being disappointed this time. Um, so that will cover everything. Just to go back through, um, our recommendation would be go to Stranger Things, then The Last of Us, then The Tear Tram, then back down to the lower lot for Exorcist Believer, and Holidays in Hell, venture on into Curious George to go and hit Chucky, then Universal Monsters Unmasked, um, and then go ahead and hit Evil Dead Rise, and last but certainly not least, go ahead and hit Monstros, the Monsters of Latin America. Um, that will be our recommended order to go in and try to hit every single house as efficiently as possible. Obviously, 
with that general admission ticket and with the anticipated crowds, it's going to be difficult to get in any of the shows that, that, that may be coming. At this point, they have not been announced, um, but we are filming this just a few days uh, prior to releasing. Um, so when it does get announced, um, ideally we'll be able to cover that. Um, but we are just one week away um, and that would be our game plan for this event. Go ahead and drop a comment down below with what your game plan would be on that general admission ticket. Also, go ahead and start saying what y'all are most excited for. As mentioned, we are going to be putting out a video just later this week to discover the mazes we or houses we're most excited for. Um, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and drop a like on this video because it really does help out. Um, as well as go ahead and hit subscribe. We are over 3,000 subs and we are so excited and happy for that. Um, and last but certainly not least, go ahead and hit that bell notification. We have a lot of great content coming your way this holiday se or this Halloween season, um, and, and we're really excited to be able to share that with you all. Um, and um, we're just real, real happy here. Um, if you have a last, uh, well, actually one more thing we want to do is go ahead and if you haven't done so already, go ahead and follow us on Instagram. We do our best to to post as when we're going to these events. Um, so. It's a great place there, um, as well as we'll post any announcements, if there's anything coming out of Scary Farm, if there's anything coming out of Four Nights, um, or the various other haunts around the SoCal area. We'll go ahead and do our best to post on Instagram um, so that you can hear it there, um, as well as on X. Um, you can go ahead and follow us there. So Instagram would be the Knights of Horror. On X, we are Knights of Horror. On Threads, we're at the Knights of Horror. Uh, though we're not as active on Threads, we are still there. Um, as well, um, is, uh, if you want to follow Tony and his gaming adventures, you can go ahead and check him out on Kick at uh, Knights of War Gaming. Um, and overall, we're just really hoping you all are having a great time. We are one week away. We are so excited. And we can't wait to see y'all in the fog. Peace.